So take you to Lindsay Dentling and now my colleague who's also outside uh, Parliament. Uh, Lindsay, uh, good morning to you. Uh, so the postponement of uh, the swearing in of the Deputy President throwing a spanner in the works for the governing party. But uh, talk to us about uh, more members that are likely to be sworn in tomorrow. Therefore, uh, we being told as the media that uh, this is nothing unusual. We need to calm down, is it? Indeed, Koli, that is certainly uh, the twist in the tail here at Parliament this morning. I don't think anybody saw that coming immediately. As you saying, Didi Mabuza won't be sworn in as an MP here. The ANC chief whip confirming that he did not register uh, yesterday. And uh, she's also uh, telling us that we shouldn't expect to see Nomvula Mokonyani here today. Nothing suspicious, though, she says about that. Um, only that she is still in mourning and uh, will not, uh, cannot be seen in public at this time. Uh, so, uh, yes, um, really an indication uh, for the first time that uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa, or I should say uh, designate President Cyril Ramaphosa, might be looking at another candidate uh, to be his deputy when he announces his executive uh, expected to be over the weekend. But let's take a listen to what uh, Zizi Kordwa, the ANC's uh, spokesperson uh, for the president uh, in the ANC, told us a little bit earlier Earlier, which, as I said, gives us that hint that we might be looking at a new deputy president for the Republic of South Africa. The only position in terms of the ANC resolutions is guaranteed of that is that of the president. That the president of the ANC shall be the preferred candidate of the president of the Republic. The rest, even from the deputy president downwards, can only be in the, on the prerogative of the president. Nobody in the African National Congress, by virtue of your position, be it in National Executive Committee or anywhere else, you are guaranteed of any deployment of any position in the executive, be the executive or deployment in any level. So, Paul, All right. there you can hear it. Um, Zizi Kordwa making that point that it no, not necessarily does the deputy president of the ANC also need to be the deputy president of the country. What this prompts then, Lindsay, is uh, speculation, particularly among us members of the media. There's been lots of uh, female candidates that have been banded about, in particular the name of uh, Lindiwe Sisulu, uh, the current Minister of International Relations. Uh, yes, Paulie, I'm not going to um, pin my colours to the mask <laughs> quite yet and make that guess, but yes, certainly, that is a name that has been banded about um, uh, more recently. Um, and we also know that uh, in the running for his, uh, to become the president of the ANC, uh, Naledi Pandor was uh, very, uh, seemed to be a favourite of the president uh, to be his deputy. So yes, it's uh, really throwing things wide open. As you say, there are names being bandied about um, that we will announce, uh, that we'll probably expect an announcement over the weekend. But I should also point out that today's swearing in is not uh, the final uh, uh, number of MPs that will be sworn in. That list is constantly shifting and moving um, as it comes to light who did not register yesterday, uh, who might be turning down those nominations. Uh, we've uh, just heard that uh, we'll see the return of Tabang Makwekla, the former Deputy uh, Minister of Defense and Military Veterans. He'll be making a return um, as uh, taking up one of those vacancies left by Baleka Mbeta, the former speaker here, and Malusi Gigaba, the former finance minister, who both last night indicated that they won't be sworn in uh, today. We also see the return of Rosemary Kapa. She was the chairperson of the Social uh, Development Committee here in Parliament, uh, in the Fifth Parliament. So those are um, two of the names. And then, of course, uh, President Cyril Ramaphosa himself. He'll only be sworn in as an MP for a very brief while. Um, and then his seat will also become vacant. And again, someone from that list handed uh, to the Chief Justice will move into position and take up that seat in Parliament. So we know there's going to be some further swearing ins um, happening, we're told, uh, tomorrow. Um, as we know, during the course of the parliamentary year, this just happens behind closed doors in the Speaker's office, a uh, fairly low key uh, affair. But we're yet to see. We know the NCOP have their MPs being sworn in tomorrow. So it's unclear at this stage exactly what form 
and whether it will be all the pomp and ceremony of today when those um, additional members that I've just mentioned uh, get sworn in, but we know that they'll be sworn in tomorrow. Lindsay, just finally and very briefly, uh, is there a specific time that this swearing-in uh, ceremony or process starts, or is it already underway? Um, clearly, it's due to start on the half hour. How long it will take will all depend on what the opposition parties throw into the mix. Uh, should they feel their own candidates? I know the DA was caucusing uh, just until a short while ago. Uh, they concluded that caucus where they were going to discuss who they might put up as a, an alternative uh, to Cyril Ramaphosa for the position of uh, president. Um, so those will have that ballot will have to happen in secret. So if they do propose names, and it's our understanding that they will and they might even do the same uh, for the position of speaker and deputy speaker um, it could be quite a lengthy process um, because each of those uh, members will have to be voted on uh, uh, separately and in secret and then the MPs will all be sworn in in batches of 10 I understand alphabetically according to the party that they represent being asked either to take uh, an oath of office or uh, swear an allegiance um, so it could uh, take some uh, time we only expect uh, the president, uh, the vote for the new president to take place after lunch. All right, uh, Lindsay Dentlinger, thank you very much uh, for that update. My colleague uh, Lindsay outside uh, parliament ahead of that uh, swearing in ceremony of uh, the many uh, members of parliament today, about uh, 398 of them, uh, if my uh, figures are correct.